What's up, everybody? Deuces Jack at VapingInsider.com. Check it out, man. I got the new Horizon Tech Falcon Tank. And isn't she a beauty in all her lime green goodness? Let's cut down low. I'm going to take it apart for you. I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this tank. I'm going to go over all of the coils, and there's four of them. And then we're going to cut back on top. We're going to talk about it a little bit. And I'll give you my cons and pros, then we're out of here. All right, everybody, welcome to the down low portion of the Horizon Tech Falcon Subohm tank. Um, this is the tank right here. I'll give you a quick look at it, but we're going to show you the packaging first. It comes in this nice, I don't know, plasticky glass looking case, right? Pull it off, okay? File that to the side. Your atomizer sits in here like that inside the case, okay? lift this case part up right and that's where you'll find all your spares your spare glass um everything is housed inside of this okay here is the spare glass i have to say i'm a little disappointed i would have loved to have seen a bubble glass on this tank but there is none um it's got a four and a half ml capacity here are your spare o-rings you also get a spare gasket for the top cap. Nice job with that. O-rings are color coordinated to the tank. They did a nice job with that. All right. Uh, also included in that spare package is another just black 510 drip tip, just a plain black one. I really like the drip tip that they provided with the tank, the green one, the one that comes pre-installed. I think they did a fantastic job with it. It is a 510 drip tip with one big O-ring going around it. All of my other drip tips fit nice and snug that are 510. Uh, quick tour around the tank. Let's see. You see some Falcon branding there. This is your top cap, okay? Turn it around. You have some Horizon Tech branding there. This is a bottom airflow sub-ohm tank. And we do have one, two, three air slots, okay? Uh, tolerance on the AFC is really nice. One of the best tolerances I've ever seen on a sub ohm tank. Okay. But the real, the real nice thing about this is the top cap, the way they machined it. Check it out. Basically a half a turn and it's off. Really, really nice job on that. Threading is really smooth. Look at it again. Boom. You're sealed. Really nice job. I mean, this thing's easy access. Check it out. Also, they provided a little bit of knurling on top here so you can get a nice grip. I like the flat platform. That's always going to be a pro. Really nice job on this top cap, okay? Gasket in there, big fat gasket that provides against leaks. Here we have the chimney. Here we have the two large fill ports. They will accommodate almost any type of bottle on the market, including bullnose bottles. You'll be fine with them. You just got to make sure you get that bullnose right in the center. All right, um, in order to install a new coil or to install the coil that it came with, you simply give the bottom a nice little twist, right? You see the coil spinning, okay? There you go. That's the coil. That is the F1 coil. You can see F1 coil, 0.2 ohms, 80 watts, all right? 80 watts, I believe, is the max. Um, on the packaging, it says plus 10, so probably 90 watts is the max. Threading on the coil, really nice and smooth. Okay, let's put the base section away for a minute and go over the actual coil here. Okay, you can see there's a minimum line there. Um, it's not that big of a deal with the minimum line. I don't really think you have to go by that, but with the mesh one, you kind of got to be a little bit more on top of things when it comes to keeping the tank filled because of the dry hit thing. But otherwise, you know, I've run this tank down to the bottom of the coil without any dry hits. Uh, like I said, this is the F1 coil. One con is going to be they don't list the material of the coil on the coil itself. I don't like that. I want to know what I'm vaping on. They should put canthol, stainless steel, nichrome, whatever it is, should be on the actual coil itself. Now, the F1 coil is the one that comes in the kit with, along with the M1 coil. The F1 coil is 70% cotton and 30% wood pulp. Now, 
I'm not sure exactly what that type of material is, but I will tell you this. It definitely contributes to the longevity of the coil life because I've gotten phenomenal coil life out of every coil I've tried so far. Here is the M1 coil, okay? If you can see inside, see that? See how it's mesh in there? See the mesh? This is a mesh coil, and let me tell you something. This might be the best flavor coil on the market right now. Period. End of story. It does remind me a little bit of the Fire Loop coil, but I actually think the flavor on this one is actually better. Uh, this is the M1 coil. It ohms out at 0.15 ohms. It's good for 70. You see that plus 10 there? So I guess they're saying it's good for 70, maximum 80 watts. But let me tell you something, man. The flavor on this thing is just banging. They did a great job on this. Now, this M1 coil also has the same mix as the F1 coil. 70% cotton, 30% wood pulp. And I'll tell you what, just like the fire loop coils, this is a really tough coil to kill. The longevity on this thing is absolutely amazing. It really is. I like both of these coils so far. I really do. Now, the other two coils that come as a separate purchase, okay, are the F3, right? See it right there? 0.2 ohms, 70 watts, all right? And the F3 coil is a flax fiber and paper. Now, I don't know if you can see that paper in there. You see that little seam there? See the paper in there? Uh, very, very similar to the Arco coils on the Horizon Tech Arco tank. Very, very similar. Also great flavor, great longevity, but again, no uh, no markings as to what type of metal is being used in the coil. I don't like that. The other coil that's available separately is the F2 coil right here. 0.2 ohm coil, good up to 80 watts. And the F2 coil is just made out of, uh, the wicking material is just made out of flax fiber, nothing else. So I'm thinking that that's kind of like a fibrous version of the flax paper. Uh, again, really, really flavorful coil. Now let's get back to the tank. Here is the base of the tank. I've been using this tank a, a lot. I mean, I put a ton of juice through this tank. The tolerance on this AFC ring right here is absolutely fabulous. One of the best tolerances I've ever seen. On the bottom, uh, we have a gold-plated 510 with an insulator ring around it. Threading around here is very, very smooth. No branding, which is fine with me. I hate branding. So I think that's great. You know, you can take the glass off to replace it if you want to. Just simply push, you know, if you happen to break it or you just want to clean it, just give it a little push and that's it. So we're going to do the F1 coil. I'm going to put it in there and show you how I wick it up. All right. Coil goes into the base. Coil goes into the base like so. Right. There you go. Give it a nice little twist. Make sure it's nice and tight in there so you have no leaking. Okay. Now, once it's in the base, you do want to prime it like you would a regular coil. Okay. The juice we're going to be using today is this vanilla. Let me zoom out a little bit. If you guys haven't tried this juice yet, this juice is absolutely phenomenal. This is their berries and cream. And you guys know how I feel about my berries. I love berries. All you want to do is you want to give it a little prime right around the edges here, okay? Just give it a little prime. Make sure you get some juice in the middle there, okay? A few drops here and there, all right? Get that coil nice and saturated, okay? And then what you want to do, what I like to do is I like to kind of paint the sides here with a little bit of liquid, okay, to make sure it gets wicked up really nice, all right? Maybe give it another drop or two here, all right? And then once you're done, you simply put it together. The tank is held together with the tension that is created between the chimney being screwed on and the coil. You simply put it together like that. Give it a couple of turns. Make sure it's nice and tight. All right. Make sure you got your airflow closed. Um, I always like to do that. That's a good practice to get into when you're filling. Then you take your bottle and you just give it a nice squeeze. And you're filling her up. There she goes. Okay. And now, once you're all the way at the top,
take your top cap, give it a nice little half a twist, give it, make sure it's snug down nice, put your drip tip in, and welcome to Flavortown. You're ready to vape, okay? So let's cut back on top, and welcome back on top. Let's talk about the Horizon Tech Falcon, all right? First thing I got to say, you know, I, I really enjoy this tank. The flavor on it is just awesome. I, I'll go as far as to say this is one of the best flavor tanks on the market right now. The mesh coil is absolutely superb. The other three coils are fantastic as well. Coil longevity has been unbelievable on this thing. I love the fact that it comes in a bunch of colors, okay? Um, I have the lime green one. It comes in rainbow, blue, black, red, stainless steel, uh, 24 and a half millimeters, okay? You got three AFC slots. The airflow has a nice range to it, okay? Kind of like a baby beast sort of airflow, all right? Holds a little less than five mils. I think it's four and a half. Let's get into the cons. The cons are very, very nitpicky. Um, the tank's a little bit on the loud side. It's not obnoxiously loud, but it's louder than some other sub-ohm tanks, okay? The mesh coil, another con's going to be that mesh coil is a juice sucker. I mean, man, this thing will go through juice with that mesh coil, so you better make sure you got a big bottle ready for this one, all right? I would... That brings me to the next con. I would have loved to have seen a bubble glass. This tank is begging for a bubble glass with the mesh coil. If I could, you know, go to like 8 mils, 7.5 mils with a bubble glass, that would have made this tank even that much better. Would have loved to have seen a bubble glass. Um, I'm also going to give them a con on not having the coil material imprinted on the actual coil. That's it on the cons. Cons are very nitpicky. They really don't affect the vape quality of the tank, okay? We're going to get into the pros now, all right? First pro is this tank is a flavor machine. Best flavor tank on the market. Third time I'm saying it because it's true. Second pro, that top cap, that half turn on it, awesome. Machining, awesome. They did a great job on that easy access from the top, okay? Third pro is going to be... It's got good capacity. When you're using the other coils, the capacity is good. When you're using the mesh coils, you're going to rip through the juice. Okay? But all in all, the capacity is not bad. Okay? Um, other pro I'm going to give it? Looks. Hey, man. There's no doubt about it. These colors, the drip tip matching, this tank's a looker. Okay? I'm going to give them a pro on having two drip tips. Two 510 drip tips. I like that. I always like choices. Okay? Going to give them a pro on the machining. The machining on the tank is very well done. Going to give them a big pro on coil longevity. These coils last forever. Going to give them a pro on the smooth AF, uh, the smooth AFC ring. The AFC ring is nice and smooth. The tolerance is awesome. I'm also going to give them a pro on the smooth airflow. The airflow on it is very, very smooth. The biggest pro on this tank is the mesh coil. It's phenomenal. Okay? That's it, man. I mean, this thing... If you're into flavor, okay, go get yourself this tank. This this is the flavor tank right here. There's nothing better than it right now as far as I'm concerned, okay? Maybe the Fire Luke comes kind of close with their mesh coil, but I think this one is better, all right? Um, so make sure you check out the links down in the description. We're going to have links to Horizon Tech, okay? We'll probably have links to the modifying Serious Mod that I was using with it. Make sure... You check the channel back because we're going to be doing a full review on this mod real soon, okay? We'll have a link to the Vanilla, Vanilla, the berries and creams. whole line of this juice is awesome. If you like, like, churros and milk or cookies and milk, check this line out. This, this one is my personal favorite, the berries and cream. We'll have links down below for that. Make sure you check out our new forum, vapinginsider.com forward slash forum. If you like this review, do me a favor hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button so you know when I drop a new review. I'm going to be dropping a ton of them real soon, okay? Make sure you check back. And that's it, Ben. We're out of here. Deuces.